All right, hello and welcome to our finals, final video for the quick breakdown tutorials on the Gecko, our last ship. Uh, uh, one of the bigger type ships out there, along with some of the bigger cargo style javelins. Uh, usually two flavors, the cargo style and the uh, passenger style. But uh, the outsides and the main parts of the ship will break down similarly. The, uh, the, the passenger style gecko will have more soft metal as it has all that interior space. Uh, we're low on tethers, let's go grab some. Welcome to uh, that bed, I want to come back. Thank you for your so, patience. yeah, uh, cargo or passenger style, we want to go ahead and get all the uh, good outsides out. Here's your communication raise if you're missing the parts for it, but good chunk of money too. So once you don't need any more parts, let's just get them out as they're valuable. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transfer. So go ahead, put them that way. And Salvage deposited. We, we got one more. Ah, do we have four on here? No, usually there's only about two, but sometimes you'll get lucky. You'll end up with multiple. Salvage deposit secure. Uh, these, these, I thought they, I, they used to, I swear, used to go into the, uh, furnace back in the beta, but now I think they are barge parts, so yeah, don't throw, they might look like so, the soft metal paneling you'll get sometimes on the outside of ships, but they're not, they're, they're a barge part, so yeah, if you're just not thinking about it, you might look at that and say, oh, it's the soft metal texturing, nope, it's a barge part, send them to the barge, so we got I think most of our outsides. Let's decompressurize the ship. So yeah, see, it's a similar texture to the soft metal, those panels, but they are barge parts. So don't make the first mistake I did when I ran into them and got not look at the uh, overlay and throw them into the uh, furnace. It's all willy nilly. So. Uh, here we go. We go inside. Hopefully we get lucky and uh, we get an air air regulator. If not, you can just go ahead, hold on to this, burn the front top panel, burn this outside, and just have it gas out that way. As long as you keep hold of the wall, we should be fine. But hey, we got an air regulator. So let's go ahead. Air pressure level decreasing. Go ahead and decompressurize Airlock the whole ship. Then we just gotta hold on to our Hold on to the walls as we decompressurize the rest of this, and we're good. Alright, so, uh, first step, de-shell this thing. Uh, whether it's the cargo or not, they all are hauled together. Quickly go through the line tool. Uh, good part for the front is if you can go ahead and line up several of these hit them in one go careful and then yeah get it all separated out I just want to be careful Alright, so, the side that's not connected to your bridge will just start floating off, just nice, e easy and easy. We go ahead, send that forward, along with this middle section. You 
you can get it on its own line or usually connect it to the outgoing piece and have it pulled along. So, go ahead, get these coolant tanks out of our way. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Uh, oh, am I still connected here? Ah, I'm separated anyway. So we'll go ahead and send it. That looks like that line's a good connection. So let's go ahead and just connect it up to its own wall piece. These bridges, uh, they are disconnected like this, but I find it easier just to pull them forward first. And then you just tap it out in the front a little bit. You can not hold on to it and just give it a few love taps. And if you're having trouble with it, you can just burn off these front sections. But it will slowly crawl itself out, and while it's doing that, you can go ahead and do the rest of the ship. Radiation. Once I have a clear path, I like to go ahead and remove them, because if you knock them or hit them with a laser, they'll emit those clouds and then it will be unsafe to just work around on average. Alright, cargo style, these are connected, so... Before we de-slice the rest of the ship, let's get them disconnected from the nanocarbon frame. So, just grab the bottom crate. And that will disconnect it. And then from here, we are free to just tether them off. So... Uh, you know what? We did not disconnect these parts, did we? Nope. What? That went into the processor anyway. But I do want... We do want to be careful. On the passenger, you won't have to deal with the... Deal with these industrial hoists. But they're worth pretty pennies. So go ahead and grab them off. And hey, look. Now that these bottom ones are disconnected... Now we have a clear path for all our shipping containers just to go straight on down. Same thing for the other side. You want to be careful when working around this line. You don't want it nick and it start to gas out on you. Go ahead. Send off the frame. And then send the crates down, which is why I bought tethers at the front. We know where we're going to be using a lot of them. It looks like we're still connected here. So let's go ahead disconnect them. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. You might be tempted to keep these together, but they'll actually get separated during the pull, so might as well get it on its own line. And they're pretty heavy, so it doesn't take a lot of them stacked to get them moving out very slowly. Uh, now that... Uh, wait, where's our bridge part? Alright, it's floating right here. So, go ahead. Separate out the antenna or the sensor array. And the rest of this seems fine. It goes into the processor. So you go forward, you go up, you go down. Again, not disconnecting this middle bridge from the back. Otherwise, we'll lose power back here. And that will be no good. We won't be able to separate out our reactor pieces. Confirmed. Applying credit. Warning. Fuel levels are low. Fuel 
fuel supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. Go ahead. Break the rest of this shit apart. our other bridge part. We got two of them here actually. Make it go a little faster you could separate out the cargo hatch but usually it's safe to move it. One more. We got two sensor rays here. Clean up. Usually you can get this as one big long piece. You can't separate it out. It sometimes makes it easier, especially if it likes to wiggle in there all right here we go we got it catching on itself so let's go ahead and just give it a hand here uh, valuable object process all right so now that it's separated, we can push this one along. Yeah. Give it half a push, and we're separated out. We got a few more of these nanocarbon panels, and then we can get our reactor. Asteroid, asteroids are furnace parts. Valuable object process. All right. So. We want to just go ahead and focus on shelling the thing in the first shift at least. Oh hey, a decoder. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Fuels, just be careful where you throw them because they can blow up on you. Bird shift if you mostly focus on the carbon shell you can get most of it on the first shift with a few stragglers behind sometimes but this will definitely make our second shift a lot easier and where we'll make most our money so go ahead head of the thruster components down and we got but an actual uh, furnace piece. Go ahead and get these out of the way since they're easy. And then these, they're big and heavy pieces, but if the rest of the carbon's out of the way, they'll usually clear the wall. And we got a coolant line. Let's get this out of our way. Alrighty, and I've got low fuel, so let's go ahead. That we this made it all the way over here while we did the rest of the ship. So let's send that with our last tether. Tethers depleted. Welcome to Venetron 9000. And this, see, uh, these, uh, all these gecko ships are so nano left, big that. Uh, nearly half their value is right. in their nanocarbon, so you definitely want to get as much of that out as you can. Uh, 
the rest of the shifts are coming to an end, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get off any pieces that might get in the way of me pulling Salvage the reactor. Secure. So go ahead. Not hit the coolant line, let's get it separated out. Drag it back. Go ahead. Send it. I will send it high. Alright. And now that that's there, we'll have plenty of space to work with. Go ahead. Burn out this, uh... Reactor will uh, pull straight down. Once your uh, fuel line's out of the way, you, this beginning of the next shift, we can very easily pull it straight down. Uh, go ahead and either burn all four of those connectors or burn that middle ring out of the way to get your three panels off. Cutter 9346-52. See, that's fleet mostly nanocarbon and we still made, made 14 day. million. So there's just so much, so much outside of the ship to process that it, it is worth a lot. It's it's still nearly half the ship in both styles. Nearly half of the value of the ship is the nanocarbon itself on the outside. So doing it, doing the first the shelling of it on the first half of the day. Uh, Get all the outside components, arrays, antennas. Uh, this one I didn't see any. Should have double checked the bottom to see if it had any of these grapplers off of the ship and then shelling the entire ship will not only get you a large chunk of value, but will set up for your second day to just finish the rest of the ship. So, we go ahead, drift forward. This antenna, or not this antenna, this radiation shelling, nanocarbon, or, uh, uh, do they still call it? Uh, it's a radiation containment unit. So let's just say it's made of lead. So, they are a lot of weight, and this will give me a nice inside to the coolant line, too. So, let's go ahead. get all our processing out of our way get everything pulled into the proper so now it's time for the reactor you can burn all four of these away Make sure that you're not, when you aim, that you're not hitting that blue coolant line when you're hitting these. Raw material process. Then we go ahead, Credits pull deposit. our three panels. One, two, three. Uh, you see, there we go. We rushed a little bit and we nicked our coolant line. Luckily, having one nick isn't enough to do a catastrophic failure. But. Now that it is removed, we can go ahead, float on over, tether it down, remove it, and it is clear. Easy peasy, just like that. This style facing down is easier, the other style will be facing up, but it will be one block separate out, so if you separate it out and burn off the bottom ring, you can pull the whole room up and out, or it's contained it, so, and then that will leave it exposed and you can pull the panels off from the side, on the back side, pull your coolant line, pull it back, and then aim it straight down and pull. So, yeah. the uh, on both, uh, This style is slightly easier, but the other one, not a big deal. Get the glass and 
aluminum out of the way on the back panel room on the when it's facing you because they're encased in, in that in the other gecko they're encased in the glass rooms but burn out the uh, back panel room bullet furnace it then that will clear out the room for the glass or for the panels on the back facing reactors and they'll come out just as easy so yeah all right the rest of this uh, you can treat how you want. I'm gonna go ahead and do the front half of the ship now. Uh, because we wanna go ahead and get any super valuable stuff right off the bat. Uh, mostly our radiation containers. One, that way we don't accidentally nick them. Two, they're a lot of weight again. So, faster way to do the bar bridges again. Just go ahead and burn them off entirely. Don't overheat yourself. Don't want to catch fire. But, uh, go ahead, burn it off. Uh, we're connected here still, but I bet it's because... On the inside, this shelving. Ah, okay. So we go ahead. It's keeping the front exposed. And this bed, too, is going to keep that lead reactor panel. So let's just go ahead and have everything free float out of here on us so it doesn't keep everything connected. Again, if you want to be meticulous and pull everything out individually, you can do this while it's connected so it doesn't float around on you, but then again, soft metal is usually not worth it if they're not easily accessible. There's more cargo stuff in that bridge than there is uh, the soft metal for the furnace, so let's just send it all down there and go and save us the time and trouble. All this loose phony material. These are the furnace, just send them over. Ah, the, glad I checked this room again. This uh, bottom panel, these bottom storage bins are going to keep them connected. So, uh, we should have one more on the back here. And our side. Alrighty. And it goes into the processor. Last big ticket item are batteries and fuses. Time to play a little mini game. All of them have always the same three. So I am turning. Did okay. Did this not separate? No, it did separate, but I think I think it was knocking the edge of the wall. So that was not good. Uh, you know what? When they're too far, sometimes I just send them over to the other one. We should be done by the time that's done walking itself over here. Alright, might cut out there for a hot second. Alright, so your ECM unit, burn it from the wall come straight off. We got two more fuses here. And if you're worried, if you have full health and you're not, you can just pull it. Uh, got lucky there. So if you're at full health and you only got one more, you can just go ahead and pull it if you're not worried about actually getting the fuses. And we've got two more. Two more uh, bars holding on to this reactor. Salvage secured. Applying credit. And one more. I don't know, this one was fully connected. Valuable object process. Credit awarded. Send it over. Then we can go ahead. Then 
and it's all depending on what you got most left in the ship. You can get all these for yeah. Go ahead and get the rest of these barge parts out, and then once you got enough of them, go ahead and send it to the furnace. Salvage Last part, back of the ship. Burn off these two T joints. Deposit accepted for processing. You know what? We're still connected. There we go. So we can go ahead. And send these long parts to either side. Yeah, got another meter for looking there. You'll have but one computer. And then bam. Now we just have excess. Uh, we are not quite at our ninth level ranking. Uh, probably will get it once this moves into the furnace, but you can go ahead. Get off our airlocks. Don't forget the... Did I get both? No. Nope. I only got the one. One more. And bam. We're rank 9. And still 5 minutes left. So let's go ahead and just get the... You've got 5 minutes left in this shift. Hope you're having fun. Don't need these parts anymore, but if you do, you can grab them at your. They're floating around. Earlier on in the game, it, you, it's okay to take a little bit extra time to pick up those parts. The, your uh, your custom ship's gonna need a lot of them, so grabbing them as you go. Uh, even if you take a third day to take a full as fully apart, it's they're usually valuable enough that it's not gonna run you into debt. So, alright, so, this has more soft metal than the middle hard metal. You can jimmy this out of here a bit, but it sometimes will get stuck around in on the frame there. Burn it out if you like, but the rest of this is soft metal, barring the ladders and the, the door control panels, so just grab them as it floats around, and then we should be light enough, give it a nice push, and it goes into the furnace, and there we go, we can give a quick scan around, see if we left anything, you got your fuses and parts here that we never picked up but we can um, the fuses are definitely used for the uh, for your uh, get uh, personal ship but uh, so after that you really don't need them but you might want to get them out of the way so they don't hit anything or get floated around and start sparking on us but yeah that's the full teardown of the Gekka style ship. Once you uh, once you're in the end game, find a bunch of repair kits and tethers at the end so you can just start off onto your next ship to make as much money as possible is not a bad idea. But there we go. There's 18 million with the second day. Rest of our goals. Uh, and that's because the outside of the ship's not in our way to get out of our way. Uh, as for the cargo style, or the passenger style geckos, very similar. The reactors are not down facing, so as I said, cut them out, cut out the glass frame, uh, back panel, and then just pull it back. 
you'll follow the same procedure as other styles and uh, you'll get the uh, early on you'll end up with the, some of the smaller style geckos um, they're only in like that's a three thruster style one you'll get some of the geckos that are just two thrusters but and the reactor will be weirdly in the middle um, I think those are the science vessel geckos but uh, they're 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 already kind of they're not in a glass frame or anything. They just have the they're just weirdly on the a side panel. Uh, so once the outside of the ship's depressurized and de de I call it egging. So once you get the egg off the shell, that reactor is just fine to the side. You can go ahead, take your three panels off cut the fuel line, cut the coolant, which is in the front half of the that style ship of Gecko, and the, the reactor's already free and clear to get, you'll just have to burn two, two metal pieces out of your way if you want to make it slightly easier, but you burn those two off, and it's already separated from the you, you don't have to worry about it being windowed or boxed in anywhere if the outside of your ship is already apart and then it's just thrown down the bridge and then uh also with the passenger shells ships uh you'll find that they'll be at higher levels they'll be decompressed not as well because of the, sometimes the main cabin room uh air processor will be broken hold on to a wall and burn off one of the airlocks or uh, if if half of the ships are already decompressurized like the front bridge and stuff you can bo burn the doors off there and get it fully depressurized so it doesn't it doesn't go all widely on you if you cut into the ship and or take off a component and it's still pressurized it's there then you can go ahead and separate out all the furniture and like burn one of the panels the the panels or disconnect the panels that are facing straight down towards the barge create, create yourself a hole and then from that bigger panel hole especially the long ones if you get one of the long connecting uh aluminum panels off in that main cargo room or passenger room from there you can just float on in the middle or wherever you made your hole right above it hold yourself in place uh, take off a piece of furniture or cargo look at, at the barge and very quickly throw a lot of those computer terminals chair seating cargos or any uh, uh, or storage bins and get them very quickly thrown down at to the barge and then after that, the rest of it's soft metal. Use your line tool to cut up it in sections and throw it, throw it to the processor. But yeah, that's definitely your last step after you, you definitely want to do your reactor and battery first. So this is your like last step after you got all your high value stuff off the uh, outside here. So. Uh, I guess the steps, the key steps on getting it is outside components really fast, then decompressurize, then get all the nanocarbon frame of the ship off and in the processors, then do your reactor and thruster section of your ship, then do the coolant, then once your reactor's off, you can make sure the rest of the ships are open so you don't have to bother there with the doors opening again take off the battery and then get all your nice floating cargo in the space down into the barge and then your soft metal but yeah the uh the cargo style ones go a little bit easier because they don't have as much soft metal all that cargo is free floating into the decompressurized uh, cabin of the ship so once the once once the geckos de-shelled you just tether them down towards the barge and it's done you don't have to burn through 
any of the soft metal aluminum to get the cargo from that style to there for seating. But the if you're if you're hurting for electrical components, like if you need wiring to repair that ship, you these geckos have the cargo style geckos have uh, a lot of a lot of computer terminals in them both at the barge and of the ship and the uh, the little radio room back there that that little room right behind the uh, on the pasture style will usually have like nine nine computers back there all in one space so you can quickly like just pull wiring out of those you'll lose a little bit of value because it will destroy them but there's so many in this style that you usually will only go down a little percentage for each one because unlike the other ships where they don't have as many components so destroying one is a good chunk of value of the ship taking one a couple of the electrical components off of these on the geckos that have the uh uh, passenger style ones there there's so many of them that uh, you can afford to lose two or three of them and not not lose a whole ranking at the same time so they're also handy for that the passenger ones will also have uh ah, what's that rare component um i think it's the distribution cap that are on like the oxygen scrubbers or something like that and that's on the Com the commercial car the commercial passenger style gecko ship so thank you for joining me on the gecko ship down tutorial subscribe for more videos in the future uh, follow me on twitch for live gameplays from time to time uh, we'll look forward to doing some more indie games to show off uh, good luck shipbreakers and have a good night